Hey there, Sandy here. I just want to make a video to update um, you on how things have been going. Um, about a month ago, I updated about the hole in the engine and not having um, washer and dryer and uh, just all that we had going on. Um, our car, our van rather, got a hole in the engine two days before Christmas. So. Um, that was a huge blow to our family, and we've been without a vehicle since. Um, things are starting to look up. Um, the fate took a good turn. We always say that the path is really rocky, and then it gets a little better. So, And that's what happened in this case, So, um, I guess. So uh, anyway, the house we live in is pretty handicap-friendly. Um, not very clean right now. We're in the process of moving. Um, so we really wanted to stay here where we're at because um, it's, it's, we love it here. Um, we lived here years back. My husband, back when he was able to work and was healthy, in this property we live on, he planted tons of fruit trees. He, um, in our landlord's big, beautiful house, he did all the beautiful interior work and, um, as far as I'm concerned, artwork. He uh, did um, Indian blanket wood flooring, which is wood flooring that comes in all different shapes and shades and different woods. And then he would have to figure out how to put that together and make it look pretty and, and beautiful. And um, did beautiful tiling work and just a lot of helped make beautiful cabinetry and um anyway and it's just we feel kind of part of the land here and um our best friend who uh lived here she passed away about a year ago and um about a year and a half maybe now and her husband, who's been our landlord since, um, also just passed away. So the property we live on is for sale, and so our concern is once a new person comes and buys the property, you know, will they want to continue to have tenant renting in this place, or, you know, are they just going to turn it into a, the big house into a bed and breakfast, and they won't want this little rental house here anymore, you know. So... It's really the best thing for us to be moving, and we're very fortunate that our best friend who passed away, her, some best friends of hers, um, are going to be our new landlords, and they have helped us so much by um, letting us borrow or rent, but for extremely affordable rental cost. Um, they're letting us use their vehicle, so that's a huge and major help for us because it's been extremely, extremely difficult not having transportation, you know. So, and we're out in the country, so we don't live in town and we don't have just anybody we can call up to just come and take us somewhere. So, um, it's been really difficult. Another thing that is so wonderful, um, if you watched our little video we made spur of the moment um, while we were looking at the new place last night, we will have a new washer and dryer thanks to our very kind, wonderful new landlords and friends. So um, a new washer and dryer, that's going to be majorly helpful for us. And um, so I'm really excited about that. And having a vehicle, that's going to help us tremendously because we have a lot going on. Um, you know, we're trying to get paperwork uh, finished, process of paperwork finished for rental assistance. And, oh, you know, there's just, we got lots of doctor's appointments. Um, and now we're moving. So um, the new place we're moving to, um, it's a nice little place, three bedrooms and a uh, little kitchen and nice living room with a fireplace. So, um, yeah. That's kind of the changes that are going on now. Um, funny, check it out. We still have our Christmas tree up. 
So, well, it's undecorated now, but anyway, just um, things like that we need to get taken care of. So today we're going to try to pack some more, and for anybody out there who is disabled or chronically ill, as you know, just the simple things, everyday simple things like getting out of bed and going to use the bathroom and taking your medicine and um, getting my daughter off to school, those things are extremely, extremely exhausting for me. Just getting up and standing is very exhausting for me. So the extra work that we've had to do with packing has been um, that's been difficult. Um, I've kept everything in small boxes, though. Um, as you can see here, we just, you know, pack in small boxes. And I need to get some tape and label things up. But, in fact, I've got some help coming here soon. And i got to take all this stuff down from the refrigerator. I love our refrigerator pictures because it's full of... All kinds of things that we just, you know, good memories and um, things like that. That um, That's our daughter's uh, sticker prize chart. So, anyway, um, we'll have a nice new refrigerator at the new place. Um, it's large, double door and all that kind of thing. So, anyway, that's a little update. I'm sure I'm leaving out lots of things, but I just want to say hi to Sarah, Mrs. Supermom, and I want to say hi to Jenny, um, who on here is Jenny Peepee. Um, I saw her videos here recently, and I get so tired and fatigued and wore out, and I want to make videos, and then I end up sitting around watching videos because I can sit, sit, and with my little smartphone, and hardly move, you know, and watch videos on YouTube, so um, I did want to take a minute to make a video and say hello and update you, and um, um, so that's that for now. Oh, and congratulations to Dana, Mrs. Diaperdy, on your um, pregnancy, so congratulations, Dana.